Oh, little whip. And sprinkles. <laughs> Guys, create a code Cypher PK in the item shop. You know what you gotta do, chat. You know it. My boy, Little Whip. What in tarnation? What in tarnation? I kind of want some ice cream now, but dude, I'm trying to eat healthy. Look at his stupid face. New skin. All right, let me check this bad boy out. Yo, what? Yo. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? Yo, guys, please be sure to use code SIS, guys. We get 2 million people using my code. I will dye my hair any colors or color you guys want. Yo, what? What? Yo. <laughs> What is this glider? Okay, that's kind of lit though. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I don't know why it's blue, but I kind of like it. Yo, the sprinkles wrap too. Ooh. Ooh. Lil. Lil Whip. Oh my God. What the fuck? What is this? Low it, ooh, low it, ooh, come it, ooh, 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 come it, hey, come it, woo. Sprinkles. Ice pop? Is this a pickaxe? <laughs> yeah, this is lit. Dude, I hope this pickaxe is actually like a comp pickaxe. Little whip. Listen, guys, it's not. I love you guys. I do. I, I, I love everyone in the world. All right. It is not a question of Apex or Fortnite. Apex and Fortnite. I know this is crazy. You can like more than one thing, all right? If I'm playing Apex, it's because it's fresh, it's new, it's fun, and I enjoy it. Do I love Fortnite? Yes, that's why I'm playing it. I'm gonna play both. Eventually, I'm gonna start playing what I enjoy more. But that doesn't mean that one game is better than the other, it just simply means that people can enjoy certain games different than others, man, or more than others. There's nothing wrong with that. Apex is a great game, it's a fun game, I enjoy playing it. Don't ask me if I like one more than the other or if one's better than the other. I enjoy both games. I'm going to play both games. So are a lot of other streamers. Breaking news. Uh, secret skirmish. Welcome, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, to Channel 7 News. I am Ali Kabani, and I have a new hot scoop. In terms of secret skirmish, it seems like there was not a secret to most people. But actually, the real secret is to make sure you use code MYTH in the item shop. Go ahead and get yourself them soccer skins today. And I will see you the next time. And uh-oh, who's there in the top middle of your screen? It's Tifu building on up, getting the high ground. As he's still alive, three eliminations so far in a early <gasps> position. And oh, God! Oh. Caster's curse is real. He gets ripped for 150 plus from that heavy sniper rifle. Yeah, that is not a good feeling. He was looking for that peak. Hopefully get a few more eliminations. He is sitting on three, so two more will get him another point on the board. But when you get tagged like that, now he has to decide, should I be playing passively? Are these guys hitting? Oh! Wow, we just we just tuned in to Tifu in arguably the best position he could imagine to then being dead in moments. It shows just how much you have to account for. And that was none other than Bizzle, one of the other top 10 earners in Fortnite co competition history, taking him down. So much happened in game three. Too much for us to just comprehend. That's why we got some help from the brilliant man Cypher. Thank you so much, Courage. I appreciate that. We got some really good fights in game three. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the action right here. Starting us off, we got Tifu using the backboard and the grenade launcher to put a lot of pressure on base soldier and taking him out as well. 
Later in the game, Tfue showed us his expertise with his aim and his AR, getting a few eliminations using the Scar from the high ground on players who are pushing into the Storm. Right here, he takes advantage of a few of these players, hitting some really clean shots, uh, securing these limbs. And as you see right here, because of his early game positioning on the high ground, he was able to take out those players as they were moving in. This is it, Bala. Eight players remaining in the game. Vivid's going to be alive. I asked him, when are you going to get that dub? He says, I'm going to go it for you, Golden Boy. This is Chaos Tfue now for Elims. Eight players left, looking to find one more, getting those two points to catapult himself further into that top 20 after the last game. He's almost there, now out of builds, reliant on finding Elims or cleaning up other resources. Kuros on that low ground. Blue T trying to pick up the Elim from the Siphon. Bizzle ends up living in the storm. Tfue on the low ground with Kuros. Kuros ends up going down to the storm. Bizzle, ultimate high. One this is a v one, one v one. Bizzle v one. versus Tfue here. Tifu's just looking for the peak. He has no materials. Didn't even go An for ultimate the ultimate high. Bizzle is now getting dropped on the queue. The trap. Not going to be able to find it yet. Still three players remaining. Tifu ultimate second there, I thought it was only one player, but it's not. No, he was sitting all the way up. He had popped the rip, and he was just hanging out above. Tifu trying to knock down the structures. Builds are beginning He's to fall. Will he catch it? Tifu goes down to Bizzle. Bizzle cleans it up with the pump into the SMG, and that is it. Three Elims into the victory royale. Incredible performance coming out from him. He has to be happy. That's going to catapult him right into the conversation for the last game. What an incredible finish by Bizzle. You see on the bottom right of your screen, Tifu actually already up there, but it's very small, I know, on that mini-map, but look at how many players have already claimed that top Viking area to try to hold there for the rest of this match. 12 players left, 11 players left. You see just how weak Lenane is on the left side. Germ turns and burns onto him. Top 10 now, top eight, as players are dropping like flies. You see the zone continuing to shift. Now over to Germ, just barely misses that heavy sniper shot. These are the final moments of the secret skirmish as Daxor takes down Germ. No surprise here, Bizzle in a wonderful position to potentially take this game. Not many materials left. Three of so far. A quick little attack of the player above. No materials. He's got to drop on down. He's looking for the way to take as little fall damage as possible. He's made it to the low ground. He's skating around. Shot comes in. A limb for Bizzle. Turns on the player above. That's it. He dangled the floor. He hand cannoned the floor. Are you and kidding me? drops. Bizzle with the victory. I think he's saying two victories in the today. Oh my goodness. Wait, that was two in a row. Bizzle won the last game too. Back to back. That's victory why he's Royals. saying two. Look Jay at the Luck. reaction. <laughs> Look at the reaction. I don't even think he could believe that he hit the shot just wow. barely in time. And we'll update you guys on exactly who is our overall solos champion, who will be taking home the $60,000 here at the Secret Skirmish. The final leaderboards are being calculated, but ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Bizzle, our Secret Skirmish champion. The victory at the end put him one point above Sav. The man continues to do it, Lupo. It's absolutely unbelievable. Back-to-back -back vic victory royales, game five and game six. Bizzle walking backstage. Congratulations again. You see Kitty there ready for our final interview. Bizzle, talk about clutch. The man just rose from much, much lower on the leaderboards to first place. Kitty with the exclusive interview with our winner, Ghost Bizzle. Oh my God, I'm getting a little bit emotional, Bizzle. Congratulations, first of all, on winning the Solos event of the Secret Skirmish, taking home $60,000. From playing together in the summer skirmishes together to seeing you finally take home a LAN event here. I'm so, so proud of you. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I don't really know. I didn't think I'd win. I thought staff was going to have it, but I got one point above him. And I'm glad he got second, but I'm just, I don't know what to say. I'm pretty excited. It's my first first. I know. First one. First first from Bizzle. Congratulations again on taking home the Secret Skirmish Solos event. First win ever. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Awesome stuff. Congratulations again to Bizzle. Thank you, Kitty. Fantastic, fantastic performance. He set himself his first ever, you know, major event victory. And it's got to feel good again in a Solos format, proving 
he's right up there with the best in the world. And we'll take a look at our full standings to see how it all breaks on down. But what we know, Bizzle needed the victories. Bizzle needed points. And guess what? The final two games, he wins both. Here it is, 12 total points, $60,000, and the title of Secret Skirmish Solo Champion Sap. My friend, brilliant job between yesterday and today. Vivid, he's had a couple off events as of late, but guess what? Right back up towards the top three. Tifu, seventh place there. Honorable performance from him and a bunch of other up and coming players you see all around. Expect to see more of them in the days moving forward.